especially in tongue. No one couldn't walk alone. Tongue was like a battle zone. But nowadays in so I am all chuck to know. Welcome back inside the No Morning Show. Well, yes, the TTPS is live on now with us this morning in the form of Women Superintendent Claire Guy Allen. Good morning to you, Good ma morning, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? I am quite fine, thank God. Now, Amen. we are in April, which is Child Abuse and uh, Child Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month. Yes. And you operate out of the Child Protection and the Special Victims Unit, yes. from what I understand. Yes. So tell me firstly about some of the work that's done in this unit. Well, the Special Victims Department within the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, that is a unit that amalgamated the Child Protection Unit, the Gender-Based Violence Unit, as well as the Sexual Offenses Unit. Mm. Uh, added portfolio that that unit what we do at that unit, we actually man the booking centers. What is a booking center? A booking center is something like, you know, the average citizen would call it a prison, but it's a prison for children, but they call them suites. Because, you know, because of the rights of a child and all mm -hmm. of that, mm -hmm. you change the language that is used whenever you are um, speaking about children. So you call them suites and booking centers. Okay. Those are actually children who are in conflict with the law or are going to be charged for some criminal offense. Uh, they are housed at booking centers. So do you mean booking centers, you mean like YTC? No, it's not YTC. Okay, you know, so that's like not what, a booking center? No, okay. what you call like a cell in a police station, right. but you don't call it cell. That's too harsh <laughs> when it comes to children. Okay. So oh. you call them sweets. All right. The power of language. But when boy. you say sweet, it's also song like a vacation to her. So this is that, that's what we're <laughs> well. All right, I understand, I understand. But, but when you're talking about children, you speak mm -hmm. about rehabilitation. Right. So mm -hmm. you try to have the language be in a particular way. You know, instead of harsh, you have it simple and rehabilitative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it comes to children. Um, tell us something, when it comes to children, what would you say are some of the main cases that you see, particularly, of course, as we're speaking about child awareness, um, child abuse prevention and awareness. What are some of the main cases of abuse and such you would see? Well, sexual unit? assault, um, that trumps it. Mm -hmm. We have um, children who are sexually assaulted. And what is really alarming and sad is that the perpetrator, 100% of the time is known to the mm. child and it's always someone that the child trusted and that is really sad. We also have coming behind that the sexual touching of a child and then we have cruelty. That is where children are ill-treated, willfully assaulted mm. by persons who have responsibility to care for them. And yeah. do we see then that children turn around and lash out as a result of that? Well, the psychologist will have to do an analysis mm -hmm. to see whether or not that could be contributing to that factor. Mm -hmm. But tell me some of the cases that you see making children end up in that, those booking centers, for example, where they need the rehabilitation. Well, we at the booking center, you will see children who are charged. We have children who are part of gangs. Right. Mm -hmm. We also have children who are charged for narcotics, mm -hmm. robberies. So it's a barrage of offenses that children are involved in. Wow. Yeah. I just need to take a quick moment there just to think about and take in all of those um, charges that you spoke of and think about the fact that these are young children. I mean, if we're already amending language for their rehabilitation, it only shows how much we need work we need to do with them to bring them back out into society. Let's get into, um, you spoke about um, sexual touching and so much more. How well defined are these within our laws that it's easy for officers to actually work with what they're told and press charges against perpetrators? They are well defined, well okay. defined before the laws, um, sexual touching, if um, one person bringing their body into contact with a child's body and it's of a sexual nature, mm -hmm. sexual touching. Mm -hmm. We have a mantra that we say, your body is your body and my body is my body. You know, parents, we, we teach children those kind of languages. So you understand that there's a barrier. Mm -hmm. that you, your body is yours and nobody's supposed to be touching your body mm -hmm. and more so for a sexual purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's very, very clear, yeah. I would say. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's able to, to help the definition. But I want to just go back to the booking centers. I don't know, for some reason, this is very, very intriguing to me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I want to know what the rehabilitation process looks like. Well, when it comes to re really and truly, the TTPS, the police, we are really enforcers of the law. Right. Mm -hmm. When it comes to rehabilitation, the prison and the court, they deal with that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. However, within the TTPS, we have preventative methods right. as well, mm -hmm. where we have our avenues where children can go, like the police, police youth, youth clubs. clubs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have over a hundred 
police youth clubs within Trinidad and Tobago. And they have lovely programs that will gear children away from a life of crime and to some positive <laughs> actions in Trinidad and Tobago. Definitely. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And we see the works of it every single day. All yeah. right. I would like just to move away from the um, charges and so forth and get into the conversation on child labor. Is it something that's prevalent in Trinidad and Tobago? We don't see it. We don't see child labor being reported. Mm -hmm. um, in, in a big way in Trinidad and Tobago, but we are trying to bring the awareness. Mm -hmm. Let persons understand that children must be children, mm -hmm. and there are so many rights, convention on the rights of a child, mm -hmm. where a child has to be free to, free, of edu free to have education, a free life, to live peacefully. And the right to play. The mm -hmm. right to play, all of these rights that children have. Why do we have children involved in labor? Well, I would imagine sometimes it's for socioeconomic reasons. So, for example, yes. in, in, in uh, less privileged families, they would say, all right, you reach a particular age, you're back strong, you could do some, you could do some work. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. in situations like that, is it that uh, somebody has to report the case or can the police see a, a, a minor working and say, well, this is not right? and look into it further. Both ways, both ways. But sometimes persons may look like children and they are indeed adults. <laughs> that mm -hmm. is where the ID card and identification becomes critical. Right. So if the public suspects that that person is a child, they can report it and we would investigate it. Likewise, if the police is on patrols and we see people looking like children mm -hmm. who we think are involved in labor, mm -hmm. we can also investigate. So both ways. And that labor means paid labor. Paid labor. So if I, if I have a child helping out at the house, that's okay. In well, terms of, no, as in, like, let me say, let me say we, we're doing some construction work yeah, or whatever no. the yes. case is, and I have a teenage boy and I say, come on, come on. Shovel yes, some, some, some sand into the bucket. That is not child mm -hmm. labor. Is, is you, that child labor? You have to be very careful with that. Right. So that's what be I'm asking. Very, very careful with that. And that is why um, recently we were before the JSC. And one of the things that, one of the common thread that we saw is that the law needs to be reformed. Mm -hmm. When I say yeah. reform, and we are in constitutional reform yes, as we speak. Yes. So we are saying, listen. Define what is light labor, define what is hazardous. Mm -hmm. mm. So that you, because you appear as a parent, you would give your child all kind of things to do. Work how to get done. Exactly. You we live in here. Exactly. We are to do it. We are to mm -hmm. do it. And together. we need the law to protect our children <laughs> from you. <laughs> We is definitely it? need the law to be very clear on what is light work, what is hazardous work, what is chores. Right. So, no, and yes. that, so that, yes. that's the thing, right? So mm -hmm. it's, uh, there's no clear definition as of now, is no, what you're saying? No, there's none. Okay. All okay. Right. And that's, so that's something that we need to consider yeah. when it comes yes. to constitutional reform. That's one of the things that we can definitely, look into. Definitely, definitely. There's clearer definitions and things like that. Yes, definitely. So this is the thing, right? I mean, aside from a, what is, of course, a very important matter, you know, you hear it all the time, especially like teenagers will be like, oh, this is Shadley but you're making me do work in your house, this sort of thing. You always get those little back and forth banters, but it's good to know that there is something moving forward that we can hopefully look forward to. Definitely. But let's go to, as I mentioned, teenagers. We're speaking about child labor, but what age does this cover? Because it's quite the norm that many times you say 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds, they go out to work for the summer, they get a little job. Right, well, 16-year-olds can work, mm -hmm. but there are certain steps that must be taken within the law. Okay. They must have a register that you have the child, you, the child's name, address, age, and everything in that register. Mm -hmm. So that whenever, let's say the police, somebody reports that here's what, a child has been employed at this establishment. Mm -hmm. When the police goes now, we can, we can seize books. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. we can seize registers and we can see that, okay, this child is over the age of 16 and this child is employed. There's also the instance of family business as right. well. Right. Where children can be employed and so forth. Mm -hmm. So the law, the law is there with respect to child labor in those instances. Um, I just want to know if, you, if there's any advice that you want to give to parents, caregivers, guardians, especially as somebody coming from a child protection and special victims unit, any advice that you want to give parents and guardians as we are in this child awareness and prevention and child abuse awareness and prevention month? I would like to tell parents, caregivers, persons with responsibility of four children, including teachers, doctors, the entire citizenry. Let us pay attention to what is happening to children in Trinidad and Tobago and let us make it our responsibility if we see something to say something and let the police investigate. You do not do the investigation. <laughs> if you have the slightest of suspicion that a child is being physically or sexually abused or emotionally abused, report it to the agencies and let us investigate. 
Interesting. Now, you yeah. say that also, I'm assuming, because if, let's just say, the public does get involved, it's possible that they could, for once of a better expression, mess up the investigation. They can. Yeah. They can. They can. Because we have had instances like that where parents will probe a child, mm -hmm. and by the time the police gets involved, this child does not want to speak to anyone yeah. after mm -hmm. that. So the slightest suspicion report it and have the specialist, which is the police and the children authority involved, so that we can interview the child and extract the evidence so that we can hold perpetrators accountable. Now, one of the things that the uh, Children's Authority mentioned, the Hillier Ambassador said before earlier, and she said, you know, it's important for parents to know their children so that they yes. can see when those changes are taking place. Um, in a case where a parent knows their child and you see something is wrong, you're saying that they should report it before they even question the child about no, what's wrong? No, you can question the okay. child. Question the mm -hmm. child. Hey, your attitude has changed. Is something bothering you? Mm -hmm. You know, question the child. Be aware of the children around you. Because let me tell you something, whenever a child is being abused sexually or physically, that child attitude changes. Mm -hmm. The way that child operated before changes. But parents, sometimes they are not paying attention. They are too busy, and yeah. we live in a busy world as well, yeah. too. And that is why we need a whole of society approach when it comes to child abuse. So the teacher at school as well, where you would see red flags, Pull that child aside. Take a two minutes during the break. Is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Are you, you know, mm -hmm. let us all make it our responsibility. Let us go back to the village raising the child. Let's go back to that. Yeah, I yeah, can agree with you more. Um, mm -hmm. Just before we wrap the conversation this morning, when we, if we want to get in contact with your unit, do we call the regular TTPS lines or are there different contact numbers? There are different contact numbers, but I would advise persons dial 999-555-800-TIPS. Mm -hmm. uh, some persons like to remain anonymous as well. Mm -hmm. You can use the online TTPS reporting where you can sit in the comfort of anywhere and you can type up whatever you suspect or whatever report mm -hmm. you want to pass on to us. All right. Yes. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Superintendent. Yes. We appreciate the information and um, all the best going forward. Thank you very much. We are very happy to be here this morning. No a problem. Guys, we take a quick break and we come back with more on the Now Morning Show. Stick around. Especially in love and peace.